RNG is really on your side. And well, I'm trying to get the shot in. But I destroyed the T71 SM CD C C D. I was so surprised when that happened. Um I was trying to shoot the MX 12T, but well, I failed yet. I missed, yeah, also did not miss. Yeah. Well, the lower ones, one fan tankies, and today I'm gonna be showing you a pretty good replay. But yeah, let's get on to the replay. And well, today we're gonna be looking at a game by Avocado from the Maho. Maho, um. Clan. Which is, as far as I know, uh, one of the best. Like, out of all the clans. My hole is one of the best you can actually find. And Avocado is playing in the tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, the Object 277. This tank, well, I mean, it's, I would say, it is pretty good. I have not played myself, so I cannot give you first hand information on the tank yet. The alpha damage looks really nice with, a, with an average DPM of, well, okay, 4,900, even more. It's so like about 500 deep, 5,000 DPM, which is, uh, as far as I know, is really good. This tank has, a, as far as I know, has pretty good bird armor, an amazing gun. Good mobility, but it lo it lacks hull armor. All of this is as far as I know. I mean, the DPM is for sh I'm pretty sure is exactly. But I said, I mean, if I did the math correctly, and I hope I did the math correctly. Let's see where that shall hit. Oh, um, it looks like it hits somewhere in the turret. I am not quite sure, but I'll say something along those lines. But let's get to the replay. So, Avocado has already done over, I mean, over 1,500 damage. And it has gotten two kills by this point. Okay. And well, stuff is actually looking pretty good for Avocado for now. Which is, I mean, the case in some of the games, but not usually. Usually in the replays that I show you guys. Uh, the game kind of is not very good. But, okay, so the Object 277. Great mobility, all that type of stuff, and goes after the T-10. The T-10 is a Soviet heavy tank that previously led up to the IS-7, yet now it leads up to, well, the Object 277, and in place of the Object, in place of the T-10, I think it's the Object 257, so pretty close in number-wise. <laughs> okay, but actually getting on to the game is while I was talking, has not been getting... Uh, it, it doesn't look all that good by this point. Not the... I mean, not the best gun... Wait, what do you call it? So there's gun depression and there's gun... Imp no, it's not impression. Oh... I'm derping right now, guys. Although, I'm not in the K KV-2. Oh, oh, that must have felt bad. Really bad. Okay. But, actually needs to be careful of the Object 268, and there you go. Looking at the Object 268, yet 
not ignoring the enemy leopard. Needs to be very careful. And the KB2 and the 60 TP can be going around the corner any moment now, really. And the 60 TP, I would be very scared of that tank. Because that tank has... There you go. Exactly what I was showing you. Has a monstrous 750 alpha. Which is some of the best for a steer. So the alpha is terrifying in my opinion. Of course it could be worse. There you go, 750 of damage already taking off about oh quite a bit. Okay, object 268. I was thinking it was 268 version 4. Uh, blocking some damage. Leopard PTA, PTA is actually playing rather well. But you can see here the heat shell not being able to penetrate the thing that hit the turret. Although I'm not quite sure. But stuff is looking pretty grim for Avocado. And well, I mean. Wait, I just realized we're back to the whole food theme. There you go. 6 TP just fired. Need to get the shell in. Yes. Okay. And actually, I just forgot to mention that Avocado has 22, had 22 heat shells and 12 AP shells. So, definitely relying on on the gold ammo, gold ammunition. Okay, trying to get, yes. Okay, so the 6TP is now, it's currently, I would say the biggest problem. And health-wise, the enemy has five, th five times more health, even by this point. But shuts down the 6TP and, well, already up to about 4,000 damage. The Loe, Loe, Lua, Luva, or there are some tanks that have terrible pronunciation. Okay, but they used up the HE shell to destroy the 6 TP, and now only has heat shells, 15 of which, which unless he shoots them like that should be actually enough to destroy all the enemy vehicles. Okay, so 13 shells and 4,000 damage. Possible, actually. Okay, doing even more damage. Okay, now you don't even have to worry about even if it minerals, there's really no problem. And now, as fast as we can, back to the cap circle. The enemy is capping and you need to get there in time. You only have one minute, one minute and five seconds left in order to destroy the enemy. I would say it's a string, STRV, Street Song, 103B, I think. No, it's O. Oh, I thought it was B. But, okay. Well, I'm talking. And who is it? Come out wherever you are. Huh. I thought you could spot people. But it's a Leopard PTA. Okay. This tank is really no... Um, okay. I, I was about to say it's no real threat. But it has... It actually has... Oh no, I... Oof. That was not good. 234 damage from the artillery. Oop. Um, I don't even really know what to say about that. 
But it's actually looking way better. It was a 1v7. Just mind you, it was a 1v7 after the Allied T26E4 got destroyed. And well, now it's time to take care of the Stritzfong and the artilleries. And just uh, just for, by the way, I'm really sorry, I was unable to make a video on Wednesday. I really had no time, there were all these kids coming around, so... I know it's not the best excuse, I'm not trying to make up excuse, but like, it's not the best reason. But it's kind of what I got. But okay, let's see. So, the Stritzfong, I'm actually not quite sure what the Stritzfong is doing because it did not get a single kill in and it did not. was not present in any of the battles. I mean, not any of the fighting. Yeah, I don't think it was there at all, so. Just checking for the search song. And now gonna go through this kind of roady area. Tiny road that tanks can go through. By the way, you can actually go through here and... It's actually not all that bad, if you think about it. Not the worst road in the game. I, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying... I mean, it's okay. Like, I'll, I'll just say it's okay. Okay, so the Stritzvang is not here. We actually, and well, Avocado needs to be quite careful of the Stritzvang. Unless the Stritzvang is AFK or has flipped his tank or something along those lines. Let's see. The strength Vong looks as if he is AFK, very much unlike the enemy artillery, which has just gotten another shot. Okay. Just fully aim in and just take the shot. Okay. Need two shells at least. Oh, mm, okay. At least two more shells in order to destroy the enemy. Gotta be very careful. Actually, slowly but surely, time is sticking out, guys. I don't really like just mentioning it. Okay, now the Stretchvong is a one shot. That means that Avocado will have four shells left. And well, my hypothesis was right. Uh, the Stritzvong was indeed um, AFK. Okay, now last time that Curly was spotted was, I mean, the la last known location was around here. So gotta be careful. And time starts to tick out. Slowly but surely. Hey, okay, you need to be very careful. Okay, uh, I had a chance to worst case scenario to repair and heal. Hey, okay, where's the artillery? It has to be somewhere around here. There it is. There's the FV. On not full health. Uh, actually wondering if there was an enemy player that did damage to the FE. Uh, it only could have been really the LTTB, but I don't think it was that. Okay, so. What do you have? We only have a GW Tiger P. Which also could be AFK, but there's only... But there's very little time left on the clock. You're not gonna have time to cap out. Cap out. 
Uh, there it is. Okay, decided not to take the shell from the GW Tiger P. And well, guys, what a battle! This was an absolute beast of a game. Eleven kills, over eight thousand five hundred damage, and basically using up all of the shells. I'm just kind of mentioning that. And well, wow, guys. Oh, and just for record, only thirty-two seconds left on the clock. That this was a close one, guys. So many enemy tanks destroyed, and just an absolute beast of a game. You gotta give this game some cred. Avocado from Maho, you just carried your team to victory. This was an amazing game, guys. So yeah. Let's get on to the results. And well, wow guys. So definitely deserved Ace Tanker. Just a couple of extra medals. A Pools Medal for, well, 11 kills. A Pascucci's Medal for destroying both the artillery. A Colobans Medal for, well, that 1v7. A Warrior Medal for 11 kills. A Steel Wall for blocking how many shells? 7 shells? But blocking how much damage is that? Wait. 1700. And well, a high caliber, definitely deserved, for the 8500 damage. And well, 60 TP did ah, nothing. That important. And well, actually, high TDJ, props to you. Uh, good job. You also did quite a bit for the team. Uh, Avocado will definitely thank you, or already did, or possibly did. Actually, I don't know. But well, guys, I'm not focusing on the the Thai TDJ actually focusing on avocado in the object 277 that destroyed a ton of tanks and just well just wrecked the enemy team and the 1v7 in which he was the only one on his team but yeah thank you all very much for watching this video and i hope you stay tuned for the next video on monday bye